What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. A few months ago, I covered a story about this brother by the name of Dwayne Morris. He was a 43-year-old Minnesota millionaire who decided to go to Brazil and hang out with one of his buddies. And he went there and he was dealing with some chicks. But hey, that could happen to somebody who is a visitor. It doesn't always happen, but of course, bad things can happen to somebody who's a visitor. But that shouldn't be the case for somebody who is a resident of said country. For example, I live in Uganda and you wouldn't expect me who has been living here off and on for like seven years to make the same mistakes as somebody who was visiting. And now that brings me to the story of this particular brother by the name of Zuraki World. Now this is a brother who has a really good TikTok account that I really, really like. He's a really good hearted guy from what I can tell. And he's always giving advice for things that you can do in Colombia. Here's a couple tips you need to know about Colombia. As you know, I live in Colombia. Now this is not a necessity. But this is something I'm starting to do that maybe you guys should do as well too. Cameras. They have cameras on Amazon where you can literally, you know, a little small camera on yourself. Record everything, body cam, just in case if you need it. On top of that, cameras in your crib as well too. And I'm talking about for my renters out there. And I got my cameras on the way right now. This is so I can always check everything and have everything recorded. Because you gotta understand, you're a gringo out here. You don't know the language. People can say you did something or you didn't do something. And it's their word against yours. And you can't even explain yourself, but you can definitely show it. So I know it's not a big deal, but have cameras. They're little small ones on Amazon. I know it sounds like it's extreme. It's, you don't have to do it, but I just think it's pretty dope. Film your, you know, life in Colombia. At the same time, protect yourself as well, too. There's times where I wish I had the camera on, especially when I went to the freaking beach. And to be fair, this guy dedicates his entire content strategy to help people navigate, move, or live in Colombia, but stop the show. Sometimes we can fall victim to our own advice. Now, if you can see this guy, he's very confident. This is a guy that walks around with no shirt on all throughout Colombia, seems to be in shape, <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> but yeah, he's an in shape guy, muscular guy, and he probably gets a lot of attention. And most likely, you know, he's a young guy. A lot of the ladies are feeling him. So when he matched with some particular lady on social media that's been wanting to hook up with him, he's like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, you can come over. And she was basically trying to come over and cook for him. Now again, this is a dude that probably gets a lot of women in Colombia just naturally because of how he walks around. But certain things happen. The story was um, I was chatting with a local girl. She invited me to, uh, to her apartment with a friend, they wanted to cook a local dish and I thought it would be a very nice opportunity to meet local people because I'm traveling solo, I didn't know anyone here and yeah, I went to their apartment, everything was fine, we were listening to music, we were talking, um, I didn't expect uh, anything bad but uh, at some point they offered me a drink which was like a soft drink a pink soft drink very sweet i was drinking a few sips and then after 10 or 15 minutes i lost the control over my body and from this moment on i um, have like a blackout i woke up in the morning without my phone without my bank card so as you can see basically he invited her over she brought a friend, she wanted to cook for him. And again, as a confident guy, he must believe like, oh, okay, yeah, they definitely <laughs> want me to clap them cheeks. Booty clapping sounds. And probably this has happened for him before. But doesn't this sound very similar to this story? Shit happens. As you know, I live in Columbia. So as you guys know, I got scoping in. It happened to everybody. I was caught slacking. But I met this chick over. I talked to her for a while. No, she wasn't on that type of tip. 
turned her down a couple times and I just didn't feel like hanging out. And I don't like a lot of people at my house anyway. But she really wanted to cook for me because her food was so amazing, right? Well, she ended up uh, putting all the scopamine in the food. I scarfed it down because it was delicious. And we started watching a movie and I passed out. And she even stole all my stuff. Wiped my computers, damaged my computers, stole my laptop, stole my cash. But the thing is, at the end of the day, she didn't steal my life. I can always make more money. And I'm really good at making more money. So, what's up, guys? Now, again, he follows it up with another and other revealing details about what happened. I started feeling woozy. I started feeling like I'm sinking in. I was tired. So I'm like, let's go to sleep. I woke up, everything was gone. All my money, all my, just everything. My computers, my desktop computer was wiped clean. My laptop, uh, just, and, and, and the things instantly went through my mind was, oh my God, and then I passed out. All of a sudden, I woke up in the hospital. I'm seeing all my friends around me. I don't even know how I got here. I don't know where I'm at. I just see blue walls, then I go out. They said that I was in there fighting them to take the IVs out, screaming that they were going to wipe me clean. And that's exactly what they were doing. They're pros at it. They were going through my trading account, wiping them clean. All of them. They were going through my bank account, wiping it clean. All of it. I was like, oh my God, I'm ruined. Not knowing that I had so much in me that the doctor said, if I leave, I'm going to die. I ended up leaving. I got back to the house. I'm going through my laptop, my computers. Not my computer. My friends lent me computers, so I was able to get in. I'm just blocked out of everything. Can't get into anything. I find ways to weasel into certain emails, and I'm able to see certain damage being done. Then all of a sudden, I black out again. That's when they take me to the hospital again. It's just an ongoing thing. In my mind, it's over. I lost everything. But the thing is, I have rebuilt many times, over and over and over again. And at that time, I forgot about my health. My health should have been the first thing. I have a daughter, a family. It should have been the first thing on my mind is to get better. Not all the material gains. Right now, yes, they stole so much money. Yes, they stole all my best laptops and everything. And shout out to my students who made a freaking GoFundMe. I never thought I'd ever be on the side of a GoFundMe. I, yo, I what? But just know that I'm going to rebuild. We're going to continue to keep making you guys money in these markets. And I'm happy to be alive. I am excited to be alive. I, after about a day of, you know, going back and forth in these emails, I've been able to crack a bunch of them, get her full name and phone number and email from all the stuff that she's been doing. I've been able to lock down the phones and I've also been able to get new phones as well too. The only thing is I can't get into my online banking. So now I have to go to the States to go to a branch to show my face to be able to get my online banking back open. So I'm probably gonna have to fly there for a minute. But I mean, it is an inconvenience. At the end of the day, I still love Colombia. One of the things that is a negative, Colombia has so much beauty in this world. I hope I'm gonna live here forever. Probably not. I'm already thinking about moving over maybe to Asia or Africa. Um, but I'm really excited about this experience. I scare anybody out there. I just wanna give you guys uh, just the true and um, just want to give you guys some ammunition of what to pay attention to. What I did wrong, I should have never invited two girls that I've never met immediately over to the crib. Took them on a date, X, Y, Z. Should have got their IDs as well too downstairs instead of letting them come straight up. I should have never had my trading stuff out so that they could look at it and see what I have. I messed up. But I messed up so that you guys won't mess up. Yeah. So I, I really respect this guy for coming out and letting everybody know that this happened to him. Again, he doesn't have to let anybody know. And, the, and what he said was the ladies put so much scoplamine in his food that he was supposed to have a heart attack. He could have died. He didn't remember anything. You know, they took all of his stuff. And what was interesting is this guy had password protection on some of his things, and he still doesn't know how they were able to wipe out his accounts. Again, the brother is saying that basically, you know, they've taken everything from him. He had to be on with the credit card companies. So basically he doesn't even know how they, you know, got access to his things. 
but he had to call the credit card companies and cancel his accounts. And let me just say this, man, I live overseas. The last thing that you wanna do is to cancel your credit card companies. Like I've had my debit card go expire or I'll like lose it. And then, you know, it's very difficult for credit card companies to ship internationally, if not expensive. And then you can't even use your money. Like for example, I had a very good credit card that I like to use. Uh, but for whatever reason, it's very difficult in using that particular credit card now. So it's like a pain because I can't get access to it. And then when I want to travel someplace, let's say if I want to go to Dubai or I want to go to South Africa or a place like that, and I don't necessarily have my credit cards on me, it makes it very difficult. So that's the last thing you want to do is to cancel your cards for fraud when you live somewhere overseas, right? So again, I just want you guys to understand that this is a very dangerous thing. Um, it is not something that you want to play around with and shout out to the brother for at least coming out and talking about it and educating the brotherhood again this is something that can happen to anybody you got to be careful again if someone is trying to like feed you they're trying to give you a drink they're trying to come over and again i know a lot of you guys believe that you're that you're so beautiful and then you're sexy and all this other stuff right and to somebody you very well may be but if somebody is trying to come over your house, they're trying to see you as a lady and they're being aggressive, when most likely women like that are, you know, not like that in the culture, they're trying to cook for you. That's a red flag, man, okay? Like, and then they're bringing somebody. Why are they bringing somebody? How many times have you smashed a chick where they brought their friend over with you? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, how many times has that really happened? Like, be honest. And I know guys think that because they're overseas, they're gonna be booty clapping it up, but most likely that's a setup. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. All right, put your follow, you just the bell, we're out.